covering weapon systems across air, land, and sea. Welcome to Millpower Minis. The FA-18 Super Hornet, America's premier naval strike and fleet defense fighter. Designed from the beginning to perform both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface roles seamlessly, the Super Hornet is a fluid, multi-role aircraft. The evolutionary offspring of the YF-17 Cobra designed for the U.S. Air Force's lightweight fighter program, this fighter represents the culmination of lessons spanning decades. Though the Cobra would go on to lose the competition to the eventual F-16 Fighting Falcon, the U.S. Navy would revive the fighter under its Naval Fighter Attack Experimental or VFAX program, resulting in the F-A-18 Hornet. Serving alongside the legendary F-14 Tomcat as U.S. Navy's go-to naval strike fighters, the Hornet shined. However, there was one lingering issue the Hornet couldn't shake, its limited range. During the early stages of the YF-17's development process, Northrop engineers designed the P-530, a redesign of the F-5E Tiger with larger wings, leaning edge root extension, and canted twin tail fins. Both the configuration of the wing and tails can be traced to this prototype. While McDonnell Douglas would first suggest a larger Hornet advertised as Hornet 2000 in the 80s. The concept would feature a Hornet with modernized avionics, longer fuselage, and larger wings to carry more fuel, giving it more range. The FA-18E slash F Super Hornet is the result of these repeated revisions of the FA-18 design. The E model is the single seat Super Hornet, while the F is crewed by a pilot and weapon systems officer. Being significantly larger than its predecessor allows the Super Hornet to have 50% greater range, carry more armament, and utilize larger and more powerful engines. Those engines, the General Electric F414, are capable of 22,000 pounds of thrust in afterburner and allow the Super Hornet to reach top speed of Mach 1.6. These remarkable power plants and the fighter's larger wing also enable it to return to the carrier with more than 9,000 pounds of unspent fuel and weapons. Speaking of weapons, the Super Hornet really has a hell of a sting. The fighter has 11 hard points, one on each wing, three under each wing, and three under the fuselage. Being both a fleet defense fighter and a naval interceptor, while also having ground attack capabilities means the Super Hornet must be able to carry a wide variety of weaponry, including the AIM-9 Sidewinder, the AIM-120 AMRAAM, AGM-84 Harpoon Anti-Ship Missile, AGM-88 Harm Anti-Radiation Missile, AGM-84E Slam Cruise Missile, AGM-65 Maverick Air-to-Ground Missiles, AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon or JSAL, Joint Direct Attack Munitions, or JDAM, and the stealthy AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, or JASM, Long Range Cruise Missile, and its Naval Anti-Ship Variant, AGM-158C Long Range Anti-Ship Missile, or LARASM. Combine this with the situational awareness provided by the fighters AN APG-79 AESA Radar, and you are looking at a formidable force that can defend a carrier intercept hostile aircraft, and even strike enemy vessels or positions over the horizon. The Super Hornet can do more than just put bombs on targets or down enemy fighters. It can also inspire the next generation of naval aviators. In 2021, the renowned U.S. Navy Blue Angel switched from the legacy F-A-18 Hornet the team had been flying since 1986 to the newer F-A-18E slash F Super Hornet. It also took the starring role in the 2022 box office smash hit Top Gun Maverick. From fleet defense, ground strike, maritime patrol, and touching the hearts of millions, nothing can match the reach of the Super Hornet.